Hi, I'm Clara from Online Fabric Store. Today I'm making a simple balance that's accented with pleats at the corners and a band at the bottom. This is a no-sew project, but can easily be sewn instead if you have a sewing machine. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are two complementary decor fabrics. I'm using Premier Prince Nicole Storm 12 and Premier Prince Dyed Solid Storm. A quarter inch Dritz Stitch Witchery. Scissors, a piece of wood or plywood, a fabric marker, a ruler, a hot glue gun, L brackets, and an iron. Use this diagram to calculate the measurements for your balance. Cut your piece of wood to the width you want your balance to be. Generally, 2.5 to 3.5 inches is a good depth for a balance, so a 3.5 inch wide 2x4 is a good option. My balance when finished will be 48 inches wide, 2.5 inches deep, and a foot tall plus a 3 inch band. Out of the main fabric, I'm cutting a piece that's 48.5 by 15 and quarter inches and two 3.5 by 15 and a quarter inch pieces. I'll use the accent fabric for the band and the inside of the pleats on the corners. Since my fabric's not wide enough, I need to cut three pieces for the band. One that's 48 and a half by six and a quarter inches, and two that are eight and three quarters by six and a quarter inches. You'll want to take into account that the seams will take up a quarter of an inch. Finally, for the inside of the pleats, I'll cut two five and a half by 15 and a quarter inch pieces. The fabric will be attached using Dritz Stitch Witchery, which bonds the fabric together when ironed. I'm starting with the top pieces and attaching them from right to left. Lay the first piece right side up and place the bonding tape on the edge of the fabric. With the steam setting on your iron, hold the iron over the stitch witchery without touching it. This will make it tacky and it will stick to the fabric. Then place the other piece on top with the right side down if it has a right side. Hold the iron on the fabric for 10 seconds at a time to melt the tape. Repeat on the other side of the fabric. Turn it so the right sides are facing out and iron to make a sharp crease. Do the same thing for the rest of the seams. Attach the bottom band last. If you have the option of sewing the balance, using a sewing machine is faster and the seams will come out a little less bulky. Sew each seam with a quarter inch seam allowance instead of using the bonding tape. But the no sew method is great for those without a sewing machine. On the back, fold the bottom up, place the edge under the seam, and iron the fold. Slide the stitch witchery under the seam and iron. Finally, on the ends, fold the sides over twice so the width of the piece is the same as the wood. Slide the bonding tape under the fold and iron. Make a crease where the pleats will be by folding the ends like an accordion and ironing. Lay the wood flat and center the fabric so it overhangs half an inch. Starting in the middle, hot glue the fabric to the back of the wood. You can use a staple gun instead if you prefer. Stop a few inches before the corner. Line up the edge of the pleat with the end of the wood and glue it down. Also attach it to the back of the wood. Pull the side flap up and glue the corner to the back. Then fold it back down so a 45 degree angle is created and glue it in place. 
Fold on the pleat so the top is even with the edge and glue. Finish attaching the fabric to the back of the balance, including all the layers of the pleat. Glue the back and front corners to hold the fabric in place. Repeat on the other end. Screw the L brackets to the bottom of the wood about half an inch from the ends. Then screw the brackets to your window trim or to the wall above your window. If you install it higher than the window, it won't block much light and will make the window look bigger. This simple design will go with many decor styles. You can also make it with box pleats or use a decorative trim to make it your own. Add this balance to existing curtains, shears, or blinds, or make matching custom curtains. Thanks for watching this OFS project. Thank you.